Look at this. Look at this view. Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. This is Sleepy Kid Media, and I'm the Sleepy Dad. So I figured it out. Figured out how to make the best YouTube video you could possibly do. You get two motorcycles, take off for the weekend, go moto camping, videotape almost none of it. I'm such a noob at this that I literally did not turn on my camera for most of my trip. So let's get into how the bikes are doing. We now have 620 on this bike. This one over here. Bikes are holding up great. Gonna have to replace tires probably a lot sooner than 5,000 miles on mine. Also this weekend while we were up in the mountains, I dropped mine. Coming up over a rock, hung up the lower link, and bike went down. We were riding two up at the time. The country we went to, absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Bad place to take heavy bikes. It's a great place for small dirt bikes to rip around, four wheel drive, side by sides. Uh, rocky rough terrain we went down into camp set up camp uh, I got photos of camp photos of where we went videos that I'll, I'll post up in the video we got down there I dropped all the camping gear went back up got my wife because she couldn't bring her bike down she wasn't to that experience level riding two up down ended up dropping the motorcycle did some damage to the peg which did some damage to the swing arm <laughs> and did some damage to the plastics other than that the bike was fine uh we set up camp we went to a place called three forks hot springs uh beautiful beautiful country out in the desert you're you're riding through moon dust flat desert super hot uh the last four miles of the trip this was about 155 mile trip each direction from my house the last five miles of it, you just drop down into a canyon. You're going along the river on a goat trail. And you come out to this area where there's hot springs everywhere. Waterfalls, both sides of the road. One side of the road, the, the hot springs was probably 97, 98 degrees. It felt warm to your body, but still cool. So after a hot day of riding, that was the first one that we happened to jump into. And it was great. Cooled us off. Uh, we relaxed for a long time there. Then... The ones across the river were in about the 100 to 104 degree range, depending on which pool you jumped into. Uh, so as the, the day was progressing and the sun was getting lower and we had a cool breeze going on in this gorgeous canyon, we were able to just sit in a hotter hot tub and, and enjoy it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start editing, piece my video together here. And I've got videos of the hot springs. I've got uh, some pictures of the trail, some videos of the camp. Not as much as I like because, like I said, I, I, I didn't even turn my camera on for most of the trip. It was actually a lot of the footage that I have is actually the wife. She... she... <laughs> This mofo right here walking the long road to that hot springs. And the crazy old man took the bike through this shit. This shit! Right on road on the dirt, they did okay. You know, we uh, we averaged about 30 miles an hour on the dirt. And, uh, you know, the moon dirt had the bike sideways. 
for me it was you know comfortable I could have I could have definitely picked up the pace for my wife that was her comfortable pace uh, she even had her bike completely sideways in the moon dust once it freaked her out you know she had she had her tail in just whipped right around on her in a rut so it was good it was able to build more confidence in her riding and then as soon as we got to the nasty part of the trip we were able to just park her bike leave it for the night and uh, take everything down in on the one bike and uh, like I said, I, I dropped my bike, but that was completely on me. It, it could have been avoided. I, I could have picked a, a better route. It was late. I was tired. You know, typical typical excuses. It wasn't, it wasn't me. It was, you know, everything else. So, you know, we got down. We had a great adventure. We had some drinks. We had some hot springs. We had some camping. And uh, we came back. And for my wife, you know, that was her first, you know, 200 80 mile round trip, roughly, somewhere in there. 300 mile round trip, we'll call it. That was that was her first big ride. So she did good, she got to build more confidence. You know, by the end of the trip, she's standing up on the motorcycle, she's leaning off on the motorcycle, she's got the zoomies. So it was, it was a good trip, it was well worth the time it took to get up there. It was hot, it was dusty, and it was the most rewarding end of trip we've ever had with the hot springs there like that that canyon is gorgeous and there was a couple of people up there when we first got up there and they were packing up so we ended up with the whole canyon the whole mountain to ourselves for the whole night that we were up there so it was amazing so get out and adventure man it's it's worth it every time